Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to the second buttons lesson for P5.js. So from the first lesson, you would have learned that um, you can create a button to the right hand side of your canvas and if you click it, it draws a circle. So now we want to talk about things that we can do with this button. So firstly, why is it on the right hand side? Let's move it into our canvas. So how do we do that? Well, before we teach you any of the buttons uh, methods, let's talk about what a button is. And a button is a P5 element. And all the things you can do with the button can be found on this website, p5js.org slash reference slash hash slash p5.element. And it explains to you that when something is an HTML element, so for example, a button, you can do all of these things to it. So what are some things we can do? Well, we could, for example, use a different event. Instead of mouse clicked or whatever, like we've used mouse pressed, let's try another event. Let's try mouse over. Okay, so um, instead of mouse press, let's try mouse over, draw circle, so let's save it and refresh, and as soon as I hover my mouse over it, you can see I don't even have to press it, it just draws a circle. Alright, so you could make it so that you have two functions. So let's say we got draw circle, we got draw rectangle, and then the rectangle um, draw rectangle. Rectangle has also got, I assume, four coordinates or four um, numbers, and I'm simply gonna. Oops, I'm simply going to copy this line again. And instead of mouse over, I can have mouse press. And I can draw a rectangle when the mouse is pressed. Okay, so let's save that, refresh. And when I hover my mouse over, it draws a circle. When I click it, it draws the rectangle. So yeah, different events. Uh, for different functions. So let's now investigate how we can move the button. So we can move the button by using this position tag. So it sets the position of the relevant relative to the window. So what that means is you can put it over your canvas. So let's try that. Uh, draw button dot position and let's put it zero, 0, just see where that is. Save, refresh, you can see the button is now here. Okay, and you can move it to the right a bit. So let's say 100, and that will move it to the right. Uh, some units here will move it down. Okay, and yeah, you move your button over it, all the things are still working. Uh, you could also use some CSS properties with the button. Okay, so if you want to change your color, change your font style, all that stuff. So let's try something here. Let's go style. Dot style. And bracket. And just put some stuff inside a quotation mark. Okay, so what are some things that you guys remember? Let's try color blue. Okay, let's save that. Refresh. You can see the font color is now blue. Right, that's probably not very um, obvious. <clears throat> so let's try color equals yellow. That might make it more obvious to you guys. I'm just zooming in a bit. 
So you can see the text is now yellow. So any CSS style you can think of from the HTML days, you could apply it. Font, background, whatever you want. So we also want to talk about how to resize the button. Okay, so let's just use the size. function and let's just define it so size 100 100 that should be quite obvious all right very big button anyway i will let you guys play with that uh just before we finish let's just investigate if i want multiple buttons okay maybe you can just copy all of this and just have another button draw a rectangle oops and um, let's position it somewhere else 200 let's get rid of the size it was too big so save that oops you probably want to rename it to something else uh, draw rect button I need to put this variable and replace it with all of these otherwise it's still referring to that one okay so save refresh and now you have two buttons draw a circle draw a rectangle get rid of the size for that make it look a bit better two buttons draw a rectangle draw a circle and let's just make mouse press this draw circle here and mouse pressed is draw a rectangle there so let's refresh that if you draw a circle click that draw a rectangle click that okay thanks for watching guys see you next time thanks for watching guys see you next time